NBC News just in the last few minutes moved some reporting that several of President Biden's closest allies now say they have that he has zero chances of winning. A direct quote is, he needs to drop out from one Biden campaign official. He will never recover from this. After the week and a half that we've had, do you agree? Is it time? Throughout this week, as House Democrats, we have engaged in a process of <clears throat> talking to each other. Those conversations have been candid, comprehensive, and clear-eyed, and they continue. Until that process has concluded, uh, I'm not going to address what any outside stakeholders uh, may have to say about this but matter. But, sir, how much longer can you allow the griping to go on before it ultimately wounds him? House Democrats, Senate Democrats, and President Biden are unified on the affirmative agenda that we have for the American people related to lowering housing costs or ending price gouging or growing the middle class, defending democracy and fighting for reproductive freedom. President Biden, House Democrats and Senate Democrats are also united in pushing back against Project 2025 and the extreme mega Republican agenda. That's unifying not dividing us. Leader Jeffries, Leader Jeffries, President Biden has said he's staying in this race, but after your conversations throughout this week, do you think it's time for him to reconsider that based on what you are hearing? Our conversations have been candid, comprehensive, and clear-eyed, and they are ongoing. Leader Jeffries, you Leader said Jeffries. that... Hold on, hold on. <coughs> Leader Jeffries, um, oh, right, right there. Oh. You. Oh, thank you, Leader Jeffries. I do want to ask, so you have... Another frontliner coming out today, Congresswoman Hillary Skelton, calling for Biden to step aside. You have Greg Lansman saying that he's coming closer to that conclusion. Are you worried that Biden is a liability for your most vulnerable members? No. Do you think that Democrats still have a path to winning back the House if Biden stays at the top of the ticket? House Democrats will win back control of the House of Representatives on November 5th and vacate the extreme MAGA Republican majority, as long as we are able to clearly communicate our agenda of putting people over politics, lowering costs, growing the middle class, defending fundamental freedoms and democracy, and contrast that with the extreme MAGA Republican agenda, which will destroy working families and the middle class way of life as we know it. But, but Mr. Leader, Thanks. 